Hey Lesbian Central, it's Sky, and I missed you guys last week. Um, the move went kind of well. I'm finished pretty much now, just like the recycling in the boxes that I still don't really want to touch. Um, but I got pretty sick last weekend um, on top of trying to move, so it's been kind of a weird slow week getting back. But my mom was here until just a couple days ago, so she is super helpful. And she filled my fridge, which is always awesome. This week we're doing something a tiny bit different. There's two topics, but instead of splitting them, we're going to choose between them. So I'm not going to tell you both of them, but I'm going to tell you the one that I choose. And then we all have a, a question for the end. So the question I wanted to do was about parenthood. Would we be the ones having them? Would our partners be the ones having them? Adoption, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, all things to do with children. When I was younger, I always wanted a kid. Always, always, always. I come from a really big family, so... It's always been something that I've thought about. As I get older and see how hard it is to take care of myself, sometimes I wonder if taking care of a person is something that is anywhere close to something that I could be able to do. I still think that I would I would do it. I definitely don't think it's out of the cards for me. As for who of the partners would do it, I, I don't know. Um, I would be fine with it. I'm, I'm sure that... Whoever. It's hard because I don't want to say like, oh, and the girl I'm with now because I, I don't I mean I don't do the forever thing, only because I know that things can happen. Um, if it's with her, she watches these videos, so <laughs> it's kind of awkward. I think adoption is awesome. I think there's lots of kids out there that need help. And as for the critics who say that you need uh, a female and a male figure to raise a child. I don't think that it's true. I think that's kind of bogus. You need loving parents, one or two, because uh, people raise kids single all the time and nobody says anything about that. So I think that uh, having two strong female figures in your life is not a negative thing. Uh, it doesn't mean that you won't have any male figures in your life if you're raised by two moms. I think that's kind of um, ridiculous to think. It's a bit of a narrow-minded, bigoted thing to say, but you know, what can you do with those people, right? I think kids could be a thing for me. I think I might, think I could, think I could do it. And uh, as for super in detail about how they'd get here, I can't speak to that yet. The last question is about, do you wear the tux or the dress? Are you the bride or the groom in your relationship? And I think this is the same as saying, um, are you the... Who wears the pants? Are you the male or the female? And maybe that's not exactly what it means, but um, in my relationship, it's a very good mixture of both. As for when we actually dress up, I'm not a dress girl, um, but she rocks a dress pretty smoking hotly. So I would say, but you know, guys, She's kind of perfect all across the board. She can kind of do anything and make it awesome and sexy, so that's not an answer to the question, but I think I like ties. I'll see you guys next Monday, and maybe if I have time, and if I can find my flip because it's somewhere lost in this house, I will show you quickly around my uh, place, but it's very small. So I could pretty much just turn the computer uh, that way, and you would see my bed. And I could turn it behind, and you would see the kitchen. This video is going on and on and on. I have to go to school. I only have two weeks of class left. A week and a half left of class. Bye. Bye.